Hey guys, welcome back to our Grigory home. Today I'm going to be showing you how I did this super cute little Valentine's Day plaque. The supplies you're going to need is this little plaque from the Dollar Tree. It says, bless your heart. You're going to need this pack of bags. You're going to need some Mod Podge and a paintbrush, both from Dollar Tree and some scissors. So first we're gonna go ahead and take that heart off. It pops off pretty easy. Then we're gonna pick out our favorite bag. I'm gonna pick this one that has the stripes and the heart in the middle. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just cut the bag open so it can lay flat. And then we're gonna lay that down and we're gonna take that plaque and just lay it directly on top and trace it out. So that way we know where to cut. Now I did this in pencil just in case I decided that it wasn't straight or it was crooked so I could easily erase it. So now I'm cutting that out, taking the handle off. We're gonna take the handle off. So now cutting it out. Now we're taking our plaque, making sure that the paper fits good and we're putting Mod Podge directly on top, covering it completely and then we're taking the bag and placing that directly on top. Now we're taking some Mod Podge and adding some Mod Podge to the top. Now when you do this, you wanna be careful that it doesn't wrinkle. So what I did was, I once it dried just a little bit, I went back and made sure it was pretty flat. Now I'm taking some sandpaper and just giving the edges a little bit of a weathered look. I'll show you up close how it looks. Now I'm taking some Waverly white chalk paint and I'm just gonna paint that heart white. Now I'm gonna take some sandpaper and I'm just going to sand the edges a little bit and give it a little bit of a distressed look. Now once that is dry, I am taking this cement glue. Now you can use any type of glue, I just decided to use this because I had it on hand. And I'm just putting that heart directly on top. And I thought it needed just a little bit more something, so I got this pack of wooden letters from the 99 cent store and it did come with this cute little heart. I thought it matched perfectly with the brown paper bag in the background, so I glued that directly on top of the white heart. And here's how it turned out. I think this turned out absolutely adorable. I love the weathered farmhouse type look and feel to it. And of course, the colors are very vibrant and fun for Valentine's Day. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And remember to be creative, be unique, but most importantly, be yourself. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.